Okay, our um, cell is all cleaned and back together. We have found a problem, and that problem must have existed before I pulled the cell apart because it went back exactly the same way. And we'll have a look at that problem in, in a uh, little while, but first, now that the cell's all back together, we've got to make sure there is no shorts across the plate and everything, and this is quite time consuming with this cell because it's um, a 15 plate cell. So we have to make sure that every plate is isolated from one another. So uh, you're going to have to um, do your 15 by 15 times uh, probe placements across each individual cell. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just check between this end plate here and all the bolts, which is the most likeliest plate will get a short because all our bolts had uh, rubber sleeves over them and the rubber sleeves ended very close to this end plate so um, all we've got is our digital multimeter set on our little um, short beeping thing or it's a uh, continuity test and um, just gives us a little beep if there is a short so if we put on the end plate over here we can hear our short so I'm just going to check between the end plate and all the bolts here these are all stainless steel bolts of course Daryl went to a lot of trouble making this cell as best he could and it is an absolutely fine job indeed ok so there's no shorts there we can be uh, pretty sure there's not going to be um, any shorts across any of the plates um, if there's not one between the end plate and any of the bolts so um, fine there and if the cell doesn't perform like it should Come test time, we know we have a short. Okay, so here's the problem I found. I just decided to check to make sure it was flowing nice and freely, there was no blocks. This side, as you can hear, very free. This side, however, very hard to blow through. So we have a semi block on uh, this side of the cell. The centre plate, the reason it doesn't flow from one side to the other, the centre plate is solid, it has no holes um, because this is designed to be two individual cells um, in one and the reason there's a reason for that kind of design, we'll have a look at that later and I'll show you why um, but there is still a potential problem that you can't get away from even with this design. So our two cells are designed to be partnered together so our two ends will be one polarity or our two end plates will be one polarity our centre plate will be the other polarity and then we have our six neutral plates in each of those half cells first we've got to find what the problem is here and because this inlet is directly over a hole we can safely assume that that is not the problem so I'm hoping the problem is this, that's actually the outlet, sorry. I'm hoping the problem is this gas inlet fitting has been screwed too far in and is very close to our um, plate and um, it's blocking the hole off because the fluid goes in here, hits the plate um, and this section will fill up and the water will flow out through the hole there into the next. Um, neutral section of our cell so I'm hoping that this is screwed in too far and is too close to the plate and that is why there is not a very good flow through that half of the cell so I'm going to go and undo it check it out and uh, we'll come back and see if that fixed the problem okay so um, as expected it was that fitting that was too close to the plate and uh, that's what was um, blocking our flow through the um, this half of the cell as you can see I've got some thread tape on there now and I haven't screwed it in quite as far and now it's nice and free to blow through so um, good thing to check is that you've got a nice free flow throughout your system and uh, or throughout your cell and you don't have small errors like that so uh, that would have been reducing the flow of both our liquid and gas 
in this half of the cell. Okay, so we're going to have a look as to why Daryl's made this the way he has and um, why this centre plate is solid with no holes and is one polarity and the two end plates are the other polarity. Um, this reduces a current leakage that is not often thought of that we'll uh, have a look next. We'll have a look at next. Um, I'll go through and put all the plumbing on here so we can understand what's happening and um, see why this is made the way it is. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the plumbing and um, current leakage problems that would occur if we had one outside plate as our negative and the other outside plate as our positive and all the plates in the middle were in neutral. Uh, we have our two fittings on the bottom and so the fluid flows into the bottom of the cell, fills up each compartment and our gas flows out the top and into the top of our reservoir here into the very top and our fluid level may only be two thirds of this container so we have uh, no fluid up here. So the reason it's set up for the middle plate to be one polarity and uh, that middle plate is solid and the two end plates are to be joined to become the other polarity is it stops the current leakage that would exist through the actual loop tube around the bottom. So um, if we had a uh, negative here and a positive here um, we would get the current leakage going through the uh, liquid on the uh, loop that joins the two sides. Um, that is to ensure um, a balance between the cells. So by doing it this way, having the negative here and the two end plates as a positive or vice versa, um, the polarity will be the same on each outside plate and therefore no um, current leakage would exist through that plate because there's no potential difference between the two. So uh, that is why that's set up like that. That eliminates any current leakage through the fluid itself. Um, if the gas outlet tubes were to pop into the cell below the liquid level, um, you always get a foam buildup in your gas tubes, nine times out of ten. Um, that could pass a very small amount of current and so give you another small amount of current leakage. But uh, this way it has been alleviated by uh, the two plates being the same polarity on the outside and the centre plate being the other polarity and also the gas going into the top of the reservoir and not into the fluid itself like we see some people do. So this one is set up to be as efficient as you can make a dry cell um, of this configuration. Every care has to be has been taken to alleviate all the current leakages uh, within the system. Uh, as you've seen before, we have that uh, weld on 16 all over the joint, and um, that helps prevent current leakage. And we also have the cell set up so there is no current leakage between or around the balance tube. All in all, very well done. Daryl's done a very good job on this and um, Daryl if you're watching this can you ping us an email because I tried your old email address and uh, got a return to sender address unknown um, alright so our next part of the uh, project is to uh, set up a test bench and plumb all this up and the first thing we're going to do once that is done is we're going to get um, some MMW values using straight DC which will give us a benchmark for this cell um, various voltages and uh, various um, amounts or uh, percentages of electrolyte in our water so um, we're going to see what the best is we can get out of it in a uh, straight DC situation at uh, low voltages and then we're going to see what the best um, MMW is we can get out of this cell 
using Pulse DC and then when, once we have those two benchmarks we're going to hook it up to our um, high voltage system and we're once again going to see what our MMW is and I think you'll get a big surprise so uh, Faraday's limit is based on a DC um, current and that current is very high and the voltage is very low where you have a high current you have high heat loss you're basically making a hot water system to reduce the current to get the same amount of gas we have to up the voltage and increase the resistance of our electrolyte and um, in the high voltage situation we'll be using no electrolyte it will be straight tap water um, we may even have to go up to distilled water yet we'll have to wait and see but uh, so far I've tested on tap water and the revol results are quite good and of course if we reduce the temperature in our cell or in our electrolyte we reduce uh, steam which um, a lot of people get their cells really hot and half of what they're reading coming out of the cell is steam and not HHO we will be keeping the temperature right down to just above uh, around 20 22 degrees Celsius so um, very low and the reason for that is high voltage low current low current less heat Alright, so uh, we'll see you next video when this will be all set up and we'll be ready to do some testing on um, straight DC current and see how our MMW stacks up with this cell.